Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Graphic badges are the best way to easily highlight products, features and promotions in our shop. So in today's video, we're going to learn how we can use our plugin Git WooCommerce Badge Management to create advanced custom badges to apply in our products and how these badges can improve user experience. Now, before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's start! Now, let's review quickly the different tabs that we will find available in our plugin. We have here Badges, Batch Rules and General Settings. For the moment, we're going to stay right here in our Badges tab so we can start by creating our first example. In this case, I'm going to begin with a simple badge to show in the latest products that have been added to our shop. This to help our customers understand which are our most recent products. So let's go ahead and click on this button, Create Badge, and it will open up this model window with the different types of badges that we will have to select from. We have Text Badge, Image, CSS, and Advanced Badge for on-sale products. For the moment, we're going to start with the text batch. So we select it and it will open up this batch builder page. Over here on the left side, we will find all of the options to configure our batch. And on the right, as you can see over here, we're going to find a live preview so we can visualize the end result that we are configuring on this side. Let's begin then by entering our batch name. In this case, we can enter any name so we can easily identify it later on. For our example, I'm going to enter here, new batch. Then below, we're going to find a field to select the batch type. And if we open the selector, as you can see, we find the same options that we saw in the model window, just in case you want to change the option. But for the moment, we're going to continue with the text type, which we can then customize from this field. For example, we can change this placeholder to new and also from the editor, we can make it bold or we can change the text color, the alignment, anything you want. Now let's continue and we can also customize the background color. For example, we can change here and try this color. Perfect. Now, if we notice, since our text is rather short, we can also change the size from this field so it looks better. For example, in width, we can change it from 150 to 100 there it already looks better. Now let's see the other options that we can find here. For example, border radius. From here we can edit the radius from all of the borders. We have two options. For example, we can enter the same value for all of the borders. Let's see, if I enter here 20, then by simply selecting this option, then we can set the same value for all of our borders. Or, for example, let's go back to zero and if we remove this option, we can simply modify one of the borders. In this case, our bottom left, and we can see how it looks right here. Also, we will find some other options to customize the opacity, the rotation, the position. For example, we can set it on top, in the middle, at the bottom, alignment, left, center, or for example, right then margin and the scale on mobile. In this case, we can leave all the other options with their default values so we can continue and save our batch. Now, in order to display this batch in our most recent products, we need to continue by creating a batch rule. For that, let's go over now to our tab Batch Rules and we click on this button Set Rule which will open up another model window, in this case with the different types of rules that we can create. As you can see, we have products batch, category, tag, and shipping class. In this case, for our example, we need to create a products batch. So we select it and it will open up this page so we can configure our rule. Same as before, we can start with the rule name. In this case, I'm going to enter batch on new products. Then from the field below, we can make sure that our rule is active, like in this case. And if we continue, we find this option below, assign batch to, in here, we can select among these options. Only recent products, on sale products, theater, in stock, out of stock, back order, and low stock products. In this case, since we want to create this batch for our newest products, we're going to select only recent products. 
Now, since we have selected this option over here below, we can find a new field. Assign batch to product newer than, and here we can choose to show our batch in all of the products that have been published in the last, for example, let's say 10 days. So all of the products that have been added within the past 10 days will be displaying our batch. Let's continue over here with batch to assign. And from this field, we can search for our new batch that we just created right here. Next, we will also have the option to exclude products from this rule. So for example, even if the product has been published within the last 10 days, as we configure here, they will still not show the batch. For our example, we're not going to enable this option. So let's continue with the next one, a schedule rule. From here, if we enable it, you will be able to decide when you want to show this rule. For example, set over here a specific interval. Also for the moment, we don't need this option. So I'm going to disable it again. And finally, we can decide to show the batch to either all users or only to specific users or user roles. Now we have finished creating our rule, so let's go ahead and save it. Okay, now that we have created our batch and our rule, let's make sure that everything is working correctly. For that, let's go ahead and create a new product. So let's go over here to products and add new. Okay, I have already entered the information for our new product. I have here the title long sleeve tea. Then I have also entered the regular price. I added the product image and over here a short description. Now, all that we need to do is go ahead and publish our product. So let's go over here and click. Perfect. Now to make sure that everything is working correctly, let's go ahead and see our product from the front end. So we can go ahead and click on this link. Okay. And as you can see, our product is showing right here, our new batch. This is because this is a recent product that we have just published today, which means that our plugin and the rule we have configured work like a charm. Now let's see something else. If we go back to edit product and we change over here the published date, let's go ahead and edit it. And we can enter, for example, that we did it on December 15, 2021. Let's update it. Now let's see what happens in the front end. We go back to our product and this time, as you can see, our batch has disappeared. This is because it is no longer a recent product that was added today. Since we have changed the published date to last year, then this product does not fit within the 10 days that we configured in our rule. And therefore the batch is no longer displaying for this product. Once again, confirming that everything has worked perfectly with our plugin and configuration. Now let's go back to our plugin so we can see another example, this time of an advanced batch. Now let's click over here at batch so we can create our next example. Once again, we will find our model window and this time I'm going to select this type, the image batch. So for our next example, let's create a Black Friday batch to display in all of our products on the next Black Friday to highlight to our customers that we're having a special discount for this occasion. So let's begin with the batch name. In this case, I'm going to enter Black Friday. Then over here, let me show you, we're going to find the image builder. From this section, we have two different tabs. First, a library with some simple badges, as you can see here, all of these options, as well as the option for you to upload a custom image. But then we also find another tab, get more badges. From here, you will have access to several free and high quality badges. For example, all of the options that you have here. So let's find one for our Black Friday, like this one here. So from this tab, all you need to do is click on this button to add the badges from our server to your library. So let's go ahead and add it. Perfect, it is done. So if we go back to our library and we scroll down, we're going to find it right here. So let's go ahead and select it. And now we can also see it over here in our preview. Let's see the other options that are available to customize it. They are similar to the ones that we saw in the previous example. So you have options for the opacity, rotation, position, alignment. For example, we can also set it to the right like that. And for now, we don't need to customize any other options. So let's go ahead and save our batch. 
Next, same as before, in order to display our Black Friday batch, we also need to create another rule. So let's go ahead to batch rules and we click over here to add a batch rule. And once again, we're going to select the products batch. For the name, we're going to enter Black Friday batch. Then over here, assign batch to. In this case, we do want to leave all products. And let's continue with the batch to assign, which in this case, we're going to search for Black Friday right here. For this example, we don't want to exclude any products as we want to display this batch for all of them in all of our store. So for the moment, let's go ahead and save our rule so we can see now from the front end if it is displaying in all of our products. Let's see. Okay, as you can see over here in our shop page, all of our products are displaying our new Black Friday batch in the right corner, just like we can figure. However, since this is only a special batch, that we want to display for the Black Friday, then it should only display on the Black Friday day, right? For that, we need to actually schedule our batch. So let's go back to our plugin. And from here, we need to scroll down so we can go to schedule rule and enable this option. So the Black Friday for this year, 2022, will be on November 25th. So let's search for this date in our calendar. Let's go over to November right here and we select November 25th and we want to enable the rule for 24 hours. So let's go ahead and select the end date on November 26th. So with this new rule, our batch is only going to show in our page from November 25th to November 26th. Let's go ahead and update our rule and now back to our page. Now, as you can see, the batch is hidden and it will only appear in our shop on November 25th for the Black Friday. This option to schedule the batch can be very useful so you can set when to show or hide the badges in an automatic way. Additionally, if you're planning to build a discount strategy in your shop, either for the next Black Friday or for any other occasion throughout the year, we can recommend you to use our GIF batch management plugin in combination with GIF dynamic pricing and discounts. With this plugin, you will be able to create an automatic rule to apply a general discount, for example, 10% discount in your entire shop for a specific day. Now, before we finish today's video, I want to show you one more thing. For that, we need to go over to one of our product edit pages. And this is what I wanted to show you, the product batch section that you will find available in all of your product edit pages. In this case, from this section, you will be able to apply any of the badges that you create with our plugin to specific products. For example, in this case, I have opened this product, Summer Dress, and from here, search badges, we can find one of the options that we created today. For example, the first one that we did, our new badge, we select it, and also we can schedule the badge for a specific time period. If we enable it, we can select here to show this badge only from January 24th to January 28th. Perfect. Now, all that is left to do is update to save all of the changes. Now, our product Summer Dress will be showing this new batch only for the time period that we have configured here in the schedule. As you can see, this plugin is a very powerful tool that can help you boost sales with an easy management of discounts and promotions. Well, guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.